Hey friends, today we're going through a complete walkthrough of Perla. So whether you're just starting your investing journey or if you're looking to switch brokers, then this video will give you everything you need to know. And at the end of this video, I'll actually go through a step-by-step -step instructions on how to actually buy a stock with Perla. So you'll know exactly how to use Perla and how to make the most of the amazing tools. And this wouldn't be a review about me mentioning some rooms for improvement. So I'll be talking about those at the very end of this video. So stay tuned. And thanks so much to Perla for kindly sponsoring this video. I've been using Perla for four years now and it's so cool to see how the platform has changed over time. Investing can sometimes feel overwhelming, but with the right tools, it can make it so much easier. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is a broker and where does Perla fit in? A broker is essentially your middle person into the stock market. And without them, we'd have no way to access the stock market as an individual investor. Back in the old days, a broker was literally a real person that you could call up and they would execute buy and sell orders on your command. But these days, brokers like Perla allow you to do it online thanks to the internet and the world wide web something different about perla is it's specifically designed for long-term investors rather than day traders which is personally the investing philosophy that i follow i like to buy my investments and then set and forget something else to note about perla is they are chess sponsored but you may be wondering what exactly does this even mean like we mentioned before a broker is essentially a middle person between you and the stock market but the difference is with some brokers you own the shares directly in your own name and with others the brokers hold them on your behalf chess essentially stands for Clearing House Electronic Subregister System, and it's basically the Australian stock market's way of assigning ownership of shares. When your shares are held with a chess sponsored broker, you get your own HIN, which is a holder identification number. And this means that you legally own the shares in your own name. And the good news is if Perla were to disappear tomorrow, your shares will still be held in your own name. Some brokers use a custodian model. And while these brokers are often cheaper to use, it does add a layer of risk if the company faces financial difficulties. So it's a good idea to double check who the custodian is to make sure that they are reputable. Also an important note is that the chess sponsorship model only applies for shares on the Australian Stock Exchange and there's no equivalent for US shares or any other worldwide shares. So now let's talk about something which is super important which is Perla's pricing and fees. Perla charges a flat fee of $6.50 whenever you buy or sell a share but you can also prepay your credits and pay $5.50 instead. They also have a micro investing option where you pay a flat fee of $2 per month. The micro investing option can be really great if you are looking to invest say less than $1,000 but one thing to note though with the micro investing option is it's not chess sponsored. If you're looking to buy US stocks, they charge a flat fee of $6.50 per buy and sell and a foreign exchange fee of 0.5% for the conversion between AUD to USD. It's also free to deposit money and to withdraw it with Perla. And here's how their pricing compares to others in the market. When you prepay with Perla, you pay $5.50 per buy and sell. With Comsec, it's $9.50, Selfworth $9.50, Stake $3 and Shares is $6. And this is when you invest $2,000. All of these brokers are chess sponsored except for sharesies. Another really cool perk about Perla is you can fully automate your investments, which honestly makes it really easy and takes the stress out of investing. And now the moment you've been waiting for, here's exactly how to invest step by step. And by the way, if you would like to try Perla for yourself, you can use my code Queenie for a $20 credit. Getting started with Perla is super easy. You just need to fill out your details and create an account. And you can choose the type of product you want, for example, shares or micro. In this example, we're gonna demonstrate with shares. And you can choose what you'd like to invest in, for example, Australian shares or US shares. You can choose your account type. Currently, it's available for individuals, a joint account, a trust account, or a minor account. And then you just need to verify your identity with your driver's license, passport, or other ID. And the verification is usually instant. And after this, it may take a couple of days for the account to be opened. So once your account has been set up, here's how to fund your account. So to deposit, I simply click here. Here I can select the account that I want to deposit funds into, for example, this one. I can choose how much I would like to deposit, for example, $1,000. And then I can make the deposit by pay ID or bank transfer. I usually do pay ID because it's instant. So now the deposit has landed in my account and I can make an investment and I'll show you how. So I simply click here, invest in AU shares. Here I can search for the ETF that I would like to buy. And if you'd like to learn more about ETFs, you can check out this video up here. For example, I'm gonna search for an ETF. Here it gives me more information about this ETF and to buy it, I simply click on buy. I can choose how much I would like to invest, for example, 
$1,000. And then to buy it, I simply click on next and then place order. Your investment will typically process within a few minutes. If it is within market hours, which is 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And if you make an investment outside of these hours, it could take a bit more time. So congratulations, you've just made your first investment. It's as easy as buying something on your phone these days. And after you make an investment, you'll receive an email from Open Markets, which has all the details of your purchase. So now we know how to make an investment. Here's where we can take it to the next level, which is by using automation, which is honestly one of my favorite features in Perla. And I'll tell you why I love automating my investing. Years ago, when Pablo and I first started investing, we started off really simple. We just invested our money with a robot advisor. Then we started to pick our own ETFs. And then suddenly we started to become a bit overconfident because ETFs just track the market. So we thought, why not beat the market? So that's when we dove headfirst researching individual stocks. We had spreadsheets open, heaps of browser tabs with financial reports, CEO interviews. And at some point we were even reading Warren Buffett's shareholder letters. Hours turned into days, days turned into weeks, and then nothing. We didn't invest in anything. We got so caught up trying to find the perfect investment and the perfect stock that by the time we found stocks that we actually liked, we'd either missed a good buying opportunity or talked ourselves out of buying it because we were waiting for a better opportunity. But what I realize now is the biggest mistake you can make with your investing is not investing at all. So that's why now I simply automate my investing. And that's why I use the Perla Automate feature. So here's how I use it. I simply go to the Automate tab. Here I can set up a new automation invest in Australian ETFs and shares. So here I can choose scheduled deposits or manual deposits. And here I can choose my ETF portfolio. Some popular ETF combos are VAS and VGS, or FAIR and VESG for an ethical version. There's also VAS and IVV, which gives you access to the top 300 companies on the Australian stock market and the top 500 companies on the US stock market. And Perla also has a list of template portfolio options that you can pick from. I'm going to do these ones. I'm going to do this one and this one. Here I can choose to invest in one ETF at a time or multiple ETFs at the same time. I'm gonna choose one at a time and I'm gonna choose rotating the buying instead of automatic rebalancing. And here I can choose how much I would like to accumulate before investing. I'm just gonna leave it at $1,000 because then I'll only be charged $6.50 per brokerage fee, which is only 0.65% of the total investment. If I were to do less than that, say for example, $500 instead, then the brokerage fee would still be $6.50, which means I would be charged 1.3% of the total investment. And here I can name my automation and then confirm. And if you need help throughout any point in your investing journey, Perla has a lot of support options. They have a help center, which you can check out here. You can send them a message on their contact us page. They also have phone support between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday and live chat during business hours. And if you ever need tax reports, so you simply go to your profile settings and then go down to reports and here you can download your transactions statements, portfolio valuation, trade history statements, and more. You can also connect Perla with ShareSite, which can also give you additional tax reports. There's no such thing as a perfect platform and Perla does have its limitations. So I wanted to mention some room for improvement. The first one is that only individual accounts can invest in US shares for now, but if you invest as a trust, you can only invest in Australian shares. The desktop interface can be a bit confusing, so I do prefer to use my phone, although they do have a new updated version on desktop and mobile, which is a lot more user-friendly. And they also have a page where you can vote on new features. Perla also has an amazing resources section on their blog, which you can check out. And don't forget, if you would like to try them for yourself, you can use my code Queenie for a $20 credit. Thanks so much for watching this video all the way through. Pablo said that the secret word in this video is magnet. So write it in the comments so I know you watched this video all the way through. Thank you. Bye.